Hey, how's it going, everybody? I, uh, I've got some good news. Um, I've been doing some really cool improvements to the interior for the last few weeks, uh, which is very exciting for us because we get to improve the, you know, our living space, which has been a little bit neglected uh, since we've been starting this uh, refit. Uh, I've been able to recently switch gears from uh, all the structural repairs and uh, getting the rig ready and set and the, the running rig and all that uh, is pretty much all done. So I decided that I'd take a little bit of time and improve our lives inside, which has been really, really exciting. So without further ado, let me take you around the boat and show you exactly what I've been working on. Okay, so here's where a lot of the uh, my recent repairs have gone down. Uh, this is the galley area. You can see our sink, cutting board, stove. Uh, but here's where well, a lot of what I've been doing. Up here you'll see I've, I installed a uh, wine glass rack. Uh, so we've got our wine glasses here. And then a uh, really neat little improvement is I made a little uh, uh, bracket out of some starboard that I had and some hooks. And I was able to hang our coffee mugs from up there. So that's a huge space saver because these are First of all, big coffee mugs, so trying to store them uh, on a small boat is a hassle. So all of that took up negative space that otherwise wouldn't have been used for anything, which is great. Uh, then I installed um, a plate holder slash cup holder over here on the side. Uh, and then on the side of that, I have these new uh, spice racks that we got. Uh, now that is a big improvement just because as you can see whoever is cooking at the galley has access to all those spices very readily so it just allows for a little bit more creativity in our cooking we have found uh, because you can just kind of grab whatever you need very easily and I guess be more readily inspired uh, to make certain flavors uh, okay then we also have the hanging basket over here on the left, which is probably my favorite, because it is uh, essentially taking up the space that I sort of was thinking about installing some sort of cabinet. But the problem with that was our refrigerator door needs to open. So with the hanging basket here, it just moves to the side to allow the refrigerator door to open and then to close it obviously they make room for that as well. Now, I've just done this one little trick where I have a bungee kind of pulling the baskets down so that they don't swing too much or get get out of control. Uh, they stay relatively stationary. Um, and it took me a while to find on Amazon uh, some hanging baskets that specifically had this, I guess, hot dog shape uh, in that they're narrow and long. Uh, to suit this kind of narrow space that we have between the sink and the refrigerator. Other nice thing is we leave our dishes to dry on top of the refrigerator while we're doing our dishes, so you can still pass objects through this area uh, instead of totally closing it off, which is what some sort of cabinetry would have done. So, another huge space saver. Huge fan. I'm, a, I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, okay, we've got our paper towel dispenser down here. Very exciting. This was the number one paper towel dispenser on Amazon, which I find Amazon to be very helpful in that regard. Uh, <laughs> you know, it takes a little bit of the thought process out of choosing exactly which product to buy, especially with silly things like paper towel dispensers. Um, all right. Now, this is one of my favorite new improvements, is the air conditioning fits under the companionway now. Um, so this is just a portable air conditioning unit, uh, and I've got the exhaust hose going through a hole that I cut in our engine bay access. So that door back there is our engine bay access, so all of the hot, humid air is getting pushed into the engine bay, which is well ventilated itself. So the heat stays in there and doesn't affect us in here. But the nicest part about having the AC down there is it doesn't take up any space anymore. 
All right, so this is the area that uh, we freed up by essentially moving that air conditioning unit because it used to sit right over that way. And I installed that table for our nav station quite a while ago, but we haven't really been able to use it because the AC's been sitting there. So now not only do we have more seating if we have people over for uh, visits or guests, but we also have our nav station, which is awesome. We, uh, I know it's, you know, it's a little more humble than on most boats that are larger than Atticus, but this really does a great job of using the space, in my opinion. So you can see we've got uh, Navionics on up on the iPad. Uh, then obviously our VHF radio. Um, this is a, a neat little weather station that we got. It's just a simple little unit, like a house unit with a exterior sensor that I mounted outside. And the neat thing about it is it gives you um, the, the barometric pressure trend over the last uh, 24 hours. Um, and uh, then our shortwave radio is right over here. A uh, real cheap little unit from Amazon, cost maybe a hundred bucks. But the cool part about that shortwave radio is I'm able to pick up weather faxes with it. So I don't know if too many folks are familiar with this, but you can get weather facts just using a cheap shortwave radio like this in the SSB mode, and then some uh, software that you can get online on your computer. And now I've got my radio connecting to the laptop via this uh, stereo cable and a USB sound card. Again, two pretty cheap items. And you can see the quality of the image here is phenomenal in my opinion. Now I, I recorded this uh, the other day and I've just been holding on to it as a great example. I mean it, the the quality is great. I'm super super happy with it. So we'll definitely be using that um, you know in our travels and upcoming adventures just so that we can stay on top of the weather without really having to uh, you know be connected to civilization. Um, so that's the nav station, and uh, I'm having a great time playing around with that. I, I really, really enjoy that. Um, so yeah, guys, that's that's all of our uh, interior upgrades. Obviously, we've done a lot of small little stuff uh, on top of all of that. In particular, oh, I guess I'll show you these little hooks. We've got these little sticky hooks that uh, are just awesome because you can stick them just anywhere. So we've got. The headlamp and obviously Velcro. We got our stereo uh, remote, our horn, our tiny little tiny little horn, uh, and uh, you know our handheld radio all ready to go around the companionway. Just those little sticky hooks. Uh, I love them because they're easy. They require no permanent attachment, uh, but you can kind of settle a lot of the clutter that way. Um, anyway, so that is it, guys. Uh, really, really excited about all these improvements. I'm going to do an Atticus update uh, just on this weather facts uh, uh, strategy that, that we have uh, because I think it's not talked about enough online for cruisers that are uh, going for it on a, on a smaller budget. To be able to get this kind of information by actually buying all of the, the, the expensive gear would be... Uh, would be would be really tough. I mean, it's a lot of money. So I'm gonna do a Atticus update on that uh, coming up here shortly to kind of help other people who are interested in that sort of thing. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.